we make gnocchi. Yes. And, and gnocchi is because if you have a pumpkin left over, if you go to the supermarket there or any market now, they are uh, available very inexpensive. Is it the same as making whoopee? Whoopee? Oh. Gnocchi? Whoopee? No, he has no clue. Uh, you've so. done that whole, you jump into it. No. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do, you get a pumpkin, yes. okay? You just chop it up. You don't have to take the skin off. You don't have to do anything like that. You just cut it. You put it in a tray like this, okay? I put rosemary, a bit of chili, a bit of olive oil, 200 degrees in the oven, and you roast it. Mm. You can Simple also that. roast the seeds, can't you? Yes, yes, I did actually have some. Uh, in the kitchen in the back, I've got some seeds that are oh. roasted, which are quite well, good. That's a we great place later. for them. Yes, <laughs> let's leave them out there. Now, <laughs> what, uh, what we're doing with this, with the pumpkin, you put it in, in a potato riser, uh -huh. okay? Mm -hmm. You squash it, very simple. Yeah. I'm not going to go through because it's boring. Uh, you got them already done here. Okay, I put them in a potato. I'm doing just normal mashed potato. But the secret to make gnocchi is to make sure that the mixture you put in together is warm as you work it, because then the gnocchi becomes lighter. Okay? Oh. In there, you're going to put flour. Of course, all the uh, uh, proper ingredients and measurements are on the website. It's eggs, okay? Guys, and it's as simple as this. When you make gnocchi, it's potato, flour, eggs. In this case, we're going to put a little bit of roasted pumpkin. You mix everything together, Can like I'm doing, it becomes a big bowl, like you would make a dough. What, uh, what are the sort of rough ingredients there, if you can't access Sorry, the, the internet? Sorry, the what? The sort of roughly what proportion? Well, usually when you have one kilo of flour, and it's about two kilo of potato, then you put two or three eggs, depending on the potato, if it's the potato is too flour, it's a waxy potato, and slowly, slowly, you add more flour until you get the consistency of this. Okay? Like okay. you would with a, uh, um, with a pizza dough. Now, have a look at this, what you get. You get, as I say, like you would with bread, okay? You yeah. put everything together. Sorry, I'm I, I distracted because your pumpkin seeds are just appearing. Ooh, oh, are they? They got lots I of told you because, I, you know, we actually, not me, it's the beautiful people behind. They just put a little bit of salt and rosemary. They're absolutely amazing. Oh, God. Okay, yes. Amanda, you here on my left. I wondered when you I was going to You on the start. right. Okay, I'm going to show you something very easily. First of all, I wanted to tell you that the end results, it looks like this. And I'm going to put them in now because I got boiling water. I'm going to put salt in there because it's very important to always cook gnocchi. Gnocchi is like pasta in salty boiling water. Then you put them there and you know when they're ready, when they start to come to the top, when they float to the top. So okay. I'm just doing this like this? No. no. How do we make gnocchi? First of all, well-floured uh, uh, surface. And this is fantastic recipe to do with the kids. The kids absolutely, my, my, my boys, they love to do gnocchi.